Hi, welcome to this video tutorial from LDA Audio Deck. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to integrate NEO with third party systems. For that purpose, we just need to use our software NEO Configurator. The process is as simple as creating an event. And what is an event? An event is a set of conditions and actions. At the same time, a condition is a set of triggers. There it is. So let's see in practice how to integrate NEO with third party solutions. This is the main NEO interface. We have three different views voice alarm, public address system, system devices. Let's say we want to integrate NEO with a fire panel connected to the Ethernet network. Well, first of all, we go to the voice alarm system and then we select events and triggers would be the first step. Let's say that the fire panel send us a command through the Ethernet network, so let's configure that trigger. Fire 1 would mean fire in zone 1. The type of event of this trigger will be any of these. For example, in this case it's a command through the UDP, it could be also a 485 serial port. We can select ASCII or HEX as a code and the message that the fire panel will send that would be fire1. We add it to the system. Also it's possible to get a dry contact from the fire panel. That would be a GPI type of event that we will receive in the sonal input 1. Add it to the system. Next step, we can set here the conditions. We name the condition, for example, fire 1. We can edit here with logical inputs with the triggers we already defined. For example, we receive the command or we receive the try contact. Add it. Apply and add it to the system. That's it. Next step. Let's set the actions. For example, we want the need to play an emergency message for fire alarm. First of all, we need to route the message to the zone 1. So, the first action would be root. Here we select to edit the source 7 for messages to the zone 1. Add it. Apply and add to the system. Next step. We want to play the fire alarm. Right? We select the type message. And here in edit we select the message we want fire alarm with the number of repetitions we want. Apply and edit. Finally we even can send a message of the fire alarm activated to the fire alarm system through a command of a UDP type on the Ethernet network. For example, fire alarm activated to the IP address where our fire panel is connected. For example, this, the port, that one. Apply and add it. Finally, we create the event. The event would be fire one. Yeah, why not? Conditions. Where, first of all, we set the on condition that we receive the fire signal and also a virtual off condition that would be the end of the actions. We also can define the conditions and on the condition section and add it here as off conditions. Okay, and finally the actions, we, are, we add all of them to the system. All right. In the order we want. And that's it. Here is the event created. So, this is the way to integrate NEO with third party system. It's that simple. You can even configure with different types of trigger and actions so you can have exactly the system that meets your needs. We hope you enjoyed this video and please visit our webpage to find more info about NEO and LDA Audio Deck. Thank you for watching.